Right now, I'm wiping poo poo from my daughter's hoo hoo so that I can dress her in this lacy pink tutu. And I've never felt more manly in my life. Is this thing on? Okay, so there's a video that's uh, gone a little bit viral, uh, and uh, I'm just wondering if you've seen it and what you think about it. Eve, Laura, and their beautiful baby Cleo on why we need to end gender stereotypes about parenting. When it comes to being a man, society still has some pretty ridiculous ideas of what that's supposed to mean. And studies show that if women think you're a good dad, they're going to be more attracted to you. Okay, Cleo, give me a little burp. Come on. Else, which means the effects of a father who is also a caretaker are long-lasting. So, if you agree that it's time to end gender stereotypes around parenting, then please share this video. Okay, there's so many things wrong with that video. I totally agree that fathers should have a significant hand in taking care of children and taking care of the house, and that it reflects really well on kids when their dads are involved in their lives. What I don't agree with is women just sitting around and doing nothing. Because that's what it looks like the wife in this video is doing. Even worse than that is that they make the scene where she's vacuuming and holding the baby um, into a satire. And they make fun of that kind of, um, those kinds of gender, gender roles. Which, you know, I understand the point, and maybe it's exaggeration for the sake of making a point, but and what is wrong with somebody doing the vacuuming and holding the baby? It shouldn't be wrong for a woman to do that. And that's what this video puts across. But looking at the comment section, there are a lot of people who feel the same way. That the woman is sitting there doing nothing while the man is doing everything. And that's wrong too. Hey you guys, so I am just getting ready for my Ford Hope trip. It's coming up in May. Uh, looks like it's going to be the last half of May. Uh, not the entire half of May, but it, that's when it will take place, is in the last half of May. And uh, so it's going to be very similar to last year. We're going to go and, and help facilitate some training. Uh, we've got an emphasis on marriage, and there's some. we've got some... Um, uh, expert trainers coming in for that sort of thing um, and uh, then there's gonna be a, an emphasis on parenting as well um, kinda like last year but again we're gonna have some um, trainers come in who uh, who do this for I don't know if it's for a living or whatever but this is what they do and um, and then uh, there's also gonna be uh, some Sunday school training again by the experts so it's it's really cool how um, how all of these um, people and organizations that are um, helping with this have been able to kind of come together um, under this one umbrella and it's the umbrella of heart to heart which is really cool so we get to go and um, we uh, facilitate all of that and do a lot of the you know probably the grunt work you know the behind the scenes stuff which is exactly what our priority is right it's just facilitating um, events and trainings and sessions like these so anyway to that end, I need to raise a bunch of money to actually pay for the airfare and, and accommodations and food and all of that stuff. And it should be about a thousand dollars. I'm not sure if it's going to be a little bit more this year, but so far, my, right now, my goal is a thousand dollars. So I'm just starting to get our online yard sale up and running again. We did this last year. It was a great success. Um, and not only did I get to clean out my house quite a bit. Uh, but so did a friend of mine, as well as a few other people who donated some items. And um, and I was able to uh, not only reach my goal for my um, costs, but we were able to write a check to the church, uh, one of the churches in Fort Hope. And uh, Pastor Jimmy there has been able to use that money um, for the Sunday School program, which is really cool. So this year, um, I'm just focusing on making sure my expenses are covered. Um, and, uh, and if there's extra, great, we'll donate that again to the church, but, um, but right now I'm just focusing on hitting my, um, target of a thousand dollars. You'll find all the pictures on my, um, personal fundraising website, which is hopechange.ca. And, um, so these are a bunch of the books that I've posted, and these books are going to be in the range of 50 cents to two dollars each. So not hugely expensive. There's some really kind of cool, 
um, books. There's a lot of adoption books. If you're thinking about adoption or you'd like to educate yourself on it, I've got a ton of those up there. And um, these ones are kind of fun. Weird Ontario places, weird Canadian laws, um, Canadian history. Those are kind of fun. So some of the other things that I've got listed are some, well, I've got some jewelry going on. Some of this is handmade. So the other thing I'll have listed is this, I call it a faux GoPro. So it's a GoPro clone, basically. So I've also got some beads up um, for sale. These over here, these are um, for paper plates. So they're just, uh, there's seven of them. And you just put them underneath your paper plate when you're carrying it. So like if you're doing a barbecue or something, it's so much nicer to have these to just kind of make your paper plate a little bit sturdier. So that's just a few of the items that I have listed so far. And so you'll find those at hopechange.ca. And, uh, and I do accept payment by um, PayPal, credit card, um, and, well, credit card via PayPal, I should say, um, and cash uh, on pickup. And I totally appreciate any support that you're able to give, whether it's prayer support or financial support or emotional support or even um, just getting the word out, like awareness support. So if you're able to share this video or um, share a page on, my, on that website, hopechange.ca, then that is going to um, increase the reach and allow other people to get to know about what's going on with Heart to Heart and, and how we're working in various communities across Northern Ontario. And, uh, and that's always a good thing, right? Because we always want to know what we can do to help. Um, and sometimes we're not all in a place to help by giving money. Um, and so just spreading awareness is awesome. That's just a huge, huge help right there. Uh, do it again, do it again. $34.99, which is basically $35. It actually does something. Oh. That is a huge set, wow. Okay. This would be more fun if you could actually play with it. That's interesting. I think it makes you see the dinosaur. I guess. I was talking about Steve and it had a question mark. And then I looked at this Steve question mark. This Steve question mark. Oh, so we're not quite sure if it's Steve. Okay, Noah, what are you getting? No, no, you have to say like Steve. Cool, what is it? It has caboose in it. <laughs> is it Steve? Okay. No, it's cool. not Steve. Good with that? The Calvin and Hobbs. Okay, let me see your beanie. 